Hi guys, welcome back to another Tag Tuesday. I wanted to use some of my fun little trims and crochet stuff that I've either been gifted or I actually got from, if you remember, I had hauled something from Etsy. It was a couple orders and it just had a huge variety of different little vintage crochet pieces or some um, uh, vintage ephemera, vintage papers, receipts, all that stuff. So I just wanted to play with it. So I ended up grabbing a lot of my little pieces and I kind of came up with just, you know, whatever came up and I'm really happy with the way they came out. So if you can tell in the title of this video, it's kind of like grunge me meets shabby chic. And so my daughters are like, oh, mom, it's kind of like a grunge chic. <laughs> so that's the theme of our Tag Tuesday today. So I'm really happy with the way they came out. They're kind of grungy. They're kind of shabby chic kind of deal and I just thought that it would be kind of fun to mix the two of them and they came out really cute so let's go ahead and make a couple and then I'll show you the ones that I already made kind of up close and personal I know that you've seen the thumbnail picture of the video but just to kind of give you a little bit more of an up close look so let me show you what we're using today we're using just a lot of little trims crochet the majority um, I was gifted some of these pretty little butterflies, uh, this trim of this kind of more of a, a shabby little um, flower. I have these little crochet pieces, again, more of the crochet little butterflies. So just little, you know, pretty little trims and pieces. Look at how cute that is. And so I thought, let's let's use it. And so there's that. Then I'm also using paper from um, the Tim Holtz Backdrops, the volume five. I did want it double-sided and so, and I am doing more of a color theme on, on these. And so I did cut out a few. And so here are these. So you can see that they're all kind of, you know, color themed. Um, I did make, let's see, I made three already. And so we're going to do, I think we're doing these two today. So the blue and the purple. So isn't that pretty? So we're going to be using that. I also have a bunch of my, I call this my little, sorry for the glare, but I call this my little shabby, my little shabby chic <laughs> little container of fun little ribbon roses, ribbon um, bows, little fun little... Um, acrylic little pieces so I have this out but I also have <clears throat> excuse me my little paper flowers and so these are my little paper roses some of them I bought in LA forever ago some I bought um, uh, I think I bought some from I think these were like from Tuesday morning I forget what brand they were and then these are recent purchases from um, Hobby Lobby so I got like the neutral ones and then I went I did say that I was gonna go again and I did and I found a bunch of stuff but that's gonna have to be for my Monday haul but you guys definitely have to go and check out your Hobby Lobbies um, but I'm going to add these into here because I want to keep all my paper my paper ones together so there's that so that's more for decoration along with my our trims um, just to kind of add a few little elements um, I'm using the what are they called the collage strips so I'm gonna be using those and I also brought out um, I believe they're the found relatives. It's these. These uh, smaller size ones. Ooh, this one's a good one. So we'll use her. And then maybe, let's see. Which other one do we want to use? Um, well, she kind of looks. Let's do... Oh, we have a guy. 
No, we want to do the shabby grunge. So let's keep with the girls. Should we do these two? Or maybe her? We'll do them too. Okay. So again, the found relatives, I'm using pictures from there. And um, okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and cut the corners. Now, you know my favorite uh, size for my tags that I like to use, and they're six by three. So get your favorite papers out. It doesn't have to be double-sided. You use whatever it is that you like. And I'm going to use my corner punch for this. Let me make sure that I have this right side up. So I just like the little corners. I don't like them too because it gives me it gives me more space to decorate them. So I like to use um, my my little corner punch here. So this one's the blue one. So I'm thinking. Let's see. I'll probably use. I'm trying to think of which side I want to use. Maybe this side. These two sides. Yeah, we'll use these two sides. Okay. Let me put this back and then I'm going to also be using my dis uh, paper distressor. So you can either get this one, this is Tim Holtz, or my friend, let me show you my fancy one. My friend got this one for me and I saw this at um, on Timu. So... I know a couple people were actually asking me about this one. And so this one's from Timu. So you could use either or. Um, I am going to be using my ground espresso today because I want it a little grungy. And let's see. I have some background paper. So I, I just tore out one of my music sheets. I just love the color of this. And look at how pretty the edge of that is. Isn't that neat? I love the color of this paper. So I brought that out. That's actually what I was using for my other ones that I made already. But I also like using pages from this book because first I love the color of the paper, but I also love how small and dark the print is on this one. And this I think I just, oh yeah, I got it at Goodwill. And so again, I just got it because of the the color and the, the small print of the um, pages. So got that one and just your favorite glues. I'm going to be using my art glitter glue. Um, let's see. I think that's, I think that's it for that stuff. So let's go ahead and grunge these and get these kind of underway. So like I said, we're going to be kind of combining the two <laughs> the two styles the grunge and the shabby chic it's going to look it's going to look really pretty i really like the way they came out and so i really wanted to use up some of my laces and everything but you know me i'm more of a grungy girl and so you know i had to i had to come up with some type of way let me see do i want to use her i think i might want to use her for the purple so let's do the purple one first so let me go ahead and distress these and ink them up. Just make it look a little bit grungier. You know me, the grungier the better. And then we'll just go around and ink. You can barely see it, but I can see the the edge of it and I hate keeping the white. I don't like to see the white core of my papers. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay, I think that's it for now. And so let's see, I think I wanna use a sheet of this. So let me just rip this out. I think I have a couple sheets in here. Oh, I have more than a couple. That's okay. And then we can use maybe a piece of this. Let's see. 
I think I might need my little ruler here. So let's get this out and then we can start figuring out what type of trims we want to use. I think I had one that has like little purple flowers on it. So let me, let me get that. Um, let me do maybe here and maybe to here. Keep these. I think I want to rip this top part too. And then maybe just kind of rip a little bit of the corners just so that it doesn't look too yeah. Just so that it doesn't look too perfect. We'll just ink this up. These are going to be really quick. As long as you have all your, I think, I think it took me longer to get all my supplies out and figure out what supplies I wanted to use and then um, get started. But after that, everything was easy peasy. So I like to put, they're all going to have pretty much the same style, but look how cool that looks. I don't want to put them straight up. I want them kind of curved to the side. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Oh, I forgot. I need to, while we're working on that, I forgot. I almost forgot to turn on my, my glue gun. I think I need a new one. The glue gun that I'm using is that minty color one that I have, and it's the... Um, what is it like the wireless cordless and I liked it in the beginning but now after I've had it for a while now if you don't have it sitting exactly the way it needs to be it doesn't sit right all the time and so if I don't have it sitting the way it has to be sitting then forget it I have it on and then if I don't check it <laughs> It ends up not even warming because it's not sitting right. Ooh, I like these because these look like they're already grungy. Maybe down here. And then let me see if I can find that little purple piece. See, because I got these and I think these are like sewn together just to kind of keep them together. So let me see if I could... Uh, let me get my my little scissors for this. I think they were sewn together on purpose just to keep them together. But if I want to use them, I have to cut them apart. But I have to make sure that I cut the little string and not... There it goes. And not... Um the actual piece. Mm, I'm hoping I did that right. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Look at how itty bitty these are. Aren't those cool? That would kind of be cool to put like in the corners like this, right? My, can I, can you see what I'm doing? To put them in the corners like this. That might be cool. No, that looks weird. <laughs> I'm like, that might be cool, but no, I'm not sure if I like that. I think maybe, maybe if I put them here instead, like put them as corners here. Oh yeah, that, we're doing that. Okay, then let's see. Oh, I said that I was gonna look for the purple. So let me see. I know I had a little piece and it was like um, that like tool. Come on, where are you at? Oh, is this it? Yeah. See, look at this. This came with my with my Etsy order. 
and I thought that this was just so pretty but I don't know if I want to use this part of it because it looks like it has two different little pieces but I want this piece so okay I see where it's sewn on so that I can just cut that part off yeah I don't know what this came off of but isn't it pretty I knew I wanted to use this and so that's why I saved the purple for the video and I did the other colors it's gonna be kind of a rainbow because I have orange pink and what was the other color that I made uh, I think it's I think it's green orange pink and green I think or like a teal color come on let go already there but even that little piece of lace or whatever that is is cute isn't it so save that and let's see maybe mm, put this down here maybe put this first is that too much and then put this on top of it no that's actually really pretty and then I can use these sides for something else but I want this one right in the middle yeah I like that okay but I feel like I still need something let me see should I put this behind it because I still want some type of other element on it go big or go home right so let's see I just want to see what this is gonna look like if I try to put this on it Wow this was really sewn on okay there it is oh wrong part this one Wow this is really cool actually I'm just trying to see how I could put this ooh would that be weird if I put it on top I think I'm gonna cut this part off though these are my little fabric scissors I can probably use that for something else you just never know now no it covers her up too much right I think from far away it looks good but from close up it's just a big old mess so we're not gonna do that but I wonder if we can kind of make like some type of little gather it up make it like a little bow or something I could use that on the top yeah we'll do that we'll put this on the top that'll be cute okay so down here let's see do I want to use anything else Mm, let's see what is this this might be cool let's see or what is this I just like you oh no no I think that this would be really cute inside of a journal it's like the perfect size isn't that neat no we're not using that okay Let's see, I think I need something a little bit more, oh, what about this one? A little bit more solid, I was gonna say, but that would be kind of cool too, to put behind. It's got this embroidered little flower, maybe this way, so you could see it. It does cover up a lot of the 
Oh, but that's pretty. Okay, let's try that. All right, I think I got it. So I think what we're gonna do is, instead of trying to glue this on, mm, let's see, should I do it this way? So that this could go like this. No, I really want this side to show. We can do it like this. Make sure that I'm in frame here so that you could see. And then maybe trim it a little bit on the side. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I'm going to get my glue gun. Let me bring it to my right side so that it's easier for me to grab. And then I'm trying to fiddle with this cord underneath my desk. Okay, now make sure that it, yeah. I wanted to make sure that it was hot. And then this is gonna be easier for us to glue this down, let's see this way. There. Now this, we're gonna kinda trim away a little bit. Maybe a little bit more up here. Okay, I like that. And then we'll put these down here, kind of like um, like picture corners. I'm just putting glue just at the at the tips of each corner, just to get it down. So I did forget to mention that you are going to need ugh, the little strings. You are going to need um, the little, that's actually really cute, your glue gun. So I'm just going to put at the corners and then put these here. Get the strings away. Yeah, I like that. And then this we can put here. Is that too much? I'm trying to keep it neutral here. Let me look into our little pieces here. and see what we want to put. I do have this number, but this is more pink. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, do we want to stick with purple or should we do some type of taupey color? Because I do have this purple. No. It needs to be some type of label or something. It can't just be... Mm, I'm trying to think. It can't be just a print. It has to actually have like some type of numbers or something. So let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Maybe that number, even though it's blue, but it still kind of goes. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just use that. 
this has a little bit of purple too. So does this one. The May. Add a little bit of color to that. Do I want that one or do I want the number here? I keep wanting to grab my my wrong scissors. <clears throat> or do I want this? Nope. Yep. I want that. That's the winner. So let me just grunge this a little bit. And then put this down here. Love that. I could use my regular glue for this part. And of course, my tweezers. Put that here. And then I'm just thinking if I want this here, do I want I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I want something there, but I'm not sure what. I'm looking through my trims. No. I might just put this. I just feel like it's a lot of beige. What is this trim? Oh, this is probably what she what she wrapped it in. Let's see. I have yellow. A little house. No. Well, looks like this is what we're using. I did want something a little bit thinner. I think I do have, let me see. Oh, I forgot, I have trims here. I forgot I have these trims, but these are from Hobby Lobby. You know, you get like those bundles in the ribbon section. So, let's see, maybe something like this that'll kind of like dangle a little bit. So let's put this. You see, you just never know when you're gonna have, when you need something. I kind of like this. This might be cool. Let me get the other side because that side is a little wonky. Well, so is this one. But maybe just to kind of little like a little trim that to hang. I think I like that better. So I am going to have to cut this little piece off because it's going crazy. And then this we can put here. So I'm gonna cut it here, right at that tip, and we can have like this little fringe on the bottom. Right? I'm just making sure that I'm putting it the right way. But yeah, I'm just going to put a line of glue here. And then we can even this out. Now it's got to be done quick or else the hot glue will dry. Yeah, that's cute. Yep way better I just have to cut this off there and then 
up here, where's that little piece that we were gonna make into our bow? Let me move this. Um, I could just put this little thing here or put one on each side, these little ones. Do I have any of my, where did I put it here? Um, trying to see if I have like little bows or I have these. No, I like these better. I could put them like this. So let's cut it here and then we can put, let me fluff this out a little bit, then we can put a line of glue all along this side here and then put this here. Let me use my tweezers for this so I don't burn my fingers. I grabbed it and it it came up with me so I was trying to kind of fix it again the glue okay I like that and then we'll make this one again just kind of fluffing out this flower and then we can put this one here so I'll just cut it here Put a line of glue here. It's a little close to her face, but it's okay. Okay. Cute. Do I want to add something else here? Let me see. Maybe what? Maybe like a little quote chip or something? I can put this here instead. Do I want to do that? Let's do it. Stop thinking about it, Maggie, and just do it. <laughs> it's probably what somebody's saying. Stop thinking about it and just do it. Okay, let me just cut these parts off, these little corner bits. That's really cute. Now I need that little piece that I was gonna make our bow out of. Now I don't know where we put it. Here it is. And all we're going to do is scrunch it down the middle. Cute. And I'm going to see if I, if I can just put like a dab of glue right in the middle and see if it'll grab it all. I'm going to have to, I might burn my fingers here, so beware. But I'm pretty used to it, so it's not really that big of a deal. Cute. 
very cute. Now I can put maybe a little one of these taupey ones. I'm trying to see which ones of these are a little bit smaller. Do I have smaller ones? I don't think so. But I kind of want a taupey one so that it's not so much. Or I do have these little balls. These are like crochet little berries or something. Aren't they cute? I got a bunch of these. Put that in the middle. <laughs> nope, I don't like it. But I might like this. Just put it. But I do feel like it needs some type of little, like a little quote or something there. I feel like it's too bare, right? Or just add something. I wonder if I have like little stamps or something that I could Let's see my little Victorian. Oh no, these are too big. Yeah, these are too big. That would have been cute though, I have these. No, too big. Definitely too big. See these. So you have to have something that'll kind of go. I don't see anything. What I do need. And let me check, because I need something there. It's gonna bug me if I keep it like that. But let me see, where is it at? My, my palette. And see if maybe I have some type of little, you see? Here it is. No, I wanted some type of like little stamp. I thought like in purple, like the lighter purple. Like something like this. I wonder if maybe I could just cut that. What if I just cut this part off? Make this into like a little label. And just add this here. Yep. That's what we're doing. Come on. I had this open too long. Come on. Where's my pen? Here it is. just put this right in the center this way a piece of hot glue was in the back all right there it is I feel like it needed a little bit more grunge but isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay, let's do a blue one. Let's move on. And do blue. 
Let's see if we can make this one a little bit grungier. So, let me go ahead and ink. Yeah, you can see the... You can see the, the ink on this one better. The Distress... The Distress Oxide. Okay, there's that and our picture. Oh my gosh, I'm so disorganized. We're gonna use this one. I think this one's gonna turn out better because the color's a little bit lighter so you're able to see more of the, the grunge part of it. Perfect. Let's put this back over there. And then let's see what we're going to use behind this one. So let's see. I kind of like this. Isn't that cool? Maybe a strip of this. Maybe cut it right here. looks like it's gonna come off so we'll just take this part off I think I need this part off too put this like this Put this like that. Maybe this way. I kind of like the way that looks there. So let's put a little bit of glue on these pieces and kind of put this over here on the side. Had a feeling I was going to glue that to the desk. And then we can put this here, again, off to the side, just so that you can see more of that crochet piece in the back. So let's do that. And put this like this. Okay, now let's see, I have this little piece I could put here, that actually will look cute, but guess what, it's too white for me, uh, let's see, I want to see the butterflies, 
Isn't that cute? Ooh. I like that better. Look at that. But guess what we're doing? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> okay. We are going to dirty it up. This is where grunge meets shabby chic. <laughs> We're grunging up our pieces. Some of you are probably saying, no, you're messing it up. On the contrary, I'm making it better. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Just remember, I still have, I still have some. I wouldn't mess them all up. So, but look, see? <laughs> Grunge. Okay. Um, I like that there, but I do want maybe like a little label or something here on the bottom first before we do that. So let's see in here our box of tricks. Uh, let's see, I kind of like this, but I wish that that was bigger. So let's see what else. What else we can find? Let's move this out of the way so that I can look better and see. Let's see. Here's some of the blue. Here's this. We can put maybe, no. I don't like that shade. It doesn't look good with this. Oh, look, see? How about if we did something like this one that says like the Boston? Wrong ones. And then I can also use maybe this one with the numbers because you know I'm a sucker for numbers. So yeah, I like that. But it'll be underneath it. It won't show the Boston part, but that's okay. So let's grunge this. And this one, while we're at it, see if we're gonna use it. Maybe at the top. I can probably put this one at the top. Or should I, yeah, we'll put this here. I keep pushing it more and more away from me. So let's put this here in the corner. Put that here. And then we'll glue this down like this. Yeah, we'll glue this down this way. So we'll put glue here, here, and come on it this way yep love that and then we can put this up here like this And then all we need is a bow. Um, let's see. So I've been using this, and so look, this has like the, the it's like the eyelet lace or whatever it's called. And this is what I'm doing. Because this part up here is very plain, but I love this fabric. And so I'm just ripping pieces off of it. And then I make a bow. And I could have inked this too, but it's fine. We'll keep it as is. I'm 
just making this bow a little bit tighter and fixing it up so that I like the way it looks. And then grunge this a little bit more. See what this, see how it curls a little bit after I kind of try to rip it a little? Put that up here. Oops, I'm running out of glue sticks. Here they are. Now. And I have little blue flowers, paper flowers, that we could put. So let's see, do we want light blue or dark blue? We need a pretty one. Let's do this. That looks pretty there. So let's put that there and then we'll put the darker one right in the middle. And then maybe this one. See, these are stickers. I wonder if I got these from Hobby Lobby too. I don't remember. We could put that one there. Let's see. Let's try to take this foam off. And put this right here in the middle. There it is. All right, we ready? Are you ready to see the, the end result? And then show you the other ones so you can tell me. I love, love hearing from you guys when you tell me which one is your favorite. It's just so much fun. And a lot of you um, share your thoughts and how you would change them up and how you would make them your own. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, I'm just trying to make room. Okay, so here are the two that we made today. Here's the purple and the blue. I love them. Aren't they cool? Okay. And then I made this orangish yellow one. Again, you can see I used one of those flowers, but I grunged that up too. And then I have this on it. So here's the back. So there's this one. Then here's my little pinky. Isn't she cute with her little teddy bear? I love it. So there's that one. And then here's like the, I'll call this the green. So there's that one. See, this is that eyelet lace that I was saying that I used. But, all right, tell me which one is your favorite. So we have the green, pink, orange, purple, and blue. Isn't that fun? I love them. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tag Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And um, my poll is still up. If anybody um, hasn't voted yet, please go on there and vote. So far, the craft room or craft space <laughs> tour is winning. So if that's the case, uh, I'm going to have to start cleaning. <laughs> but it shouldn't take me too long. I've, I've already been kind of straightening things up. But if that's the case, that'll be fun to be able to share with you guys where all of my craftiness happens. And okay, so that's it guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another craft with me video. Um, so don't miss out on that one. I have a fun one for you. And okay, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.